Guys, the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max are here with some of the biggest updates. So let's go through some tips and tricks that'll absolutely blow your mind, starting with the dynamic island. This is the new Dynamic Island. It works straight out the box and is so cool. There is so much you can do with it, like answering phone calls, for example. If you tap on it, it'll open the app to full screen, or if you tap and hold, you'll just get some quick settings. And this applies for most apps that work with Dynamic Island. Of course, it also works with Apple Music as well as Spotify. Once again, if you tap and hold, you can scrub the song, skip forward, or pause and play. It also works with timers, and I personally love the way it's constantly up there at the top and again you can quickly control it. If you're navigating maps it'll also show up there and interestingly Dynamic Island only shows two apps at a time. So just something to note but another feature I love is all the system notifications. Whenever you put your phone on silent, connected for charging or airdrop you'll see these cool little animations. Face ID also no longer takes up the entire screen. And here's a little hidden tip if you find this animation distracting just swipe left to get rid of it or swipe right to bring it back. But aside from all that, there is still so many more apps you can use with Dynamic Island, like this game called Hit the Island. Every time you hit the island, you get a point and it's oddly addictive. Apollo for Reddit also has this cool little hidden feature where if you head into the main settings and then general, right at the bottom, you'll see this option that says Pixel Pals. If you turn this on when scrolling through Reddit, you'll get this tiny little pixel pet that walks along the Dynamic Island. It's so cool, so definitely check out the App Store for more apps and also hidden settings in the apps you already have. And if you're an Android user and want this feature, believe it or not, there is an app called Dynamic Spot that you can download and works almost exactly the same. And the crazy thing about Dynamic Island is it works no matter where you tap it. So even if you tap over the camera or sensor. So well done to Apple because they definitely took a problem and turned it into an amazing feature, but they did take a while to bring this next feature. Alright, so Always On Display is finally here and it actually works a lot better than most other phones. It displays your wallpaper, slightly muted and even shows live activities. But if you're not a fan of the Always On, you can actually turn it off. So all you do is head into your settings, then scroll down to display and brightness. And in here you will see Always On, just toggle that off and you're pretty much good to go. But I like to keep it on. Another awesome and really hidden feature is if you go into your Do Not Disturb Focus mode, under options, you can actually toggle on dim lock screen. So now what happens when you put on the do not disturb focus mode, instead of having the standard always on display, it'll dim the wallpaper and just keep your widgets and time there. Then because of promotion, your phone can go from 120 hertz when playing games all the way down to one hertz and save on battery. So it's kind of crazy because from my testing, it is so good on battery, it's almost like having the screen turned off. And get this guys, the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max come with the brightest screens in the world right now. They have a 2000 nit display, so seeing your phone in full blown sunlight is kind of a piece of cake. That's insane for a phone, but what is also insane is action mode. So this new action mode is insane. If you go into the camera app and slide on over to video, you will now see this little action mode icon. In action mode, you can also choose or change your resolution, whether you want it HD or 2.8K, and you can also change the frame rate. Then basically just prepare for your mind to be absolutely blown because whether you run, skip, or jump with your phone, as you can see, it stabilizes the footage so well. Here's another example we took while running with our dog, and here you can really see what a difference this mode makes. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot believe how good this action mode is but it's probably thanks to this huge, brand new 48 megapixel camera. So the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max come with this insane main camera that is four times larger than previous iPhones. I mean, this camera is legit. But straight out the box, if you take a picture, you'll actually see that it's only 12 megapixels. So here's the trick. If you go into settings under camera, right at the top, you'll see formats. Once in here, you can toggle on Apple Pro Raw. And now all you gotta do is toggle on Raw to take advantage of that full 48 megapixel camera. So 
now you'll see after taking that picture, if you go info, there's your 48 megapixels, baby. <laughs> but just know that raw pictures take up a lot more space because they are capturing a lot more detail. And you won't really see it here, but raw pictures capture over 1 billion different shades of color, whereas like normal pictures only pick up around 16 million. There is also a new option that I really love in the camera, and that is two times zoom. So on previous models, you had 0.5, 1, and 3, but now we have two times zoom and it's super nifty. They've also upgraded night mode, so I took a couple pictures with one light on, and I cannot believe the amount of detail it captures. So now that you can take some of the most insane pictures, what you can also do is tap and hold on any subject and then like magic, it'll crop your picture where you can actually save that image as a PNG. The bam. If you've watched my previous videos, you may have already seen this, but without absolutely any Photoshop skills, like at all, you can automatically crop out any object from just about any picture and it is insanely accurate almost every single time. Wow. Like there are so many different use cases for this, but my absolute fave is gotta be that you can make WhatsApp stickers in seconds using apps like Sticker Maker. Wow. So that can save a lot of time, but speaking of saving, this next feature could actually save your life. So the new iPhone 14s have this crazy cool feature called Satellite SOS. For now, this feature is only available in US and Canada, but basically, if you ever find yourself in a sticky situation and you don't have any cell service or Wi-Fi connection, you can send an SMS via satellite. So your iPhone points you in the right direction to the closest satellite so that you can send short messages to emergency services. But another very unique feature that makes this one of the safest phones out there is found under privacy and security. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see this new option called Lockdown mode. So if you turn this mode on, your iPhone will basically block a whole bunch of different connections to your phone. It is only recommended to turn on this mode if you think you're busy being hacked or having some kind of cyber attack. Hopefully none of us ever need to use this, but another amazing feature that the iPhone 14s come with is car crash detection. And basically what it does is if you're in a crash, your iPhone will detect that. And if you don't respond to an alarm, it'll send emergency services your exact location. So again, hopefully none of us ever need to use that, but another really cool safety feature worth mentioning is Face ID now also works in landscape mode. So the iPhone 14 is probably one of the safest phones right now. Apple has come a long way, but so has Siri. So Siri has come with a few new improvements that really make her the boss. If you get a phone call, you can now tell Siri to answer it for you, which is pretty convenient, especially when your hands are full. Good morning. Once you finish chatting, you can then ask Siri to also hang up for you, but just keep in mind, the other person will actually hear you say that. But either way, this is super useful. What's also cool is now when you use dictation, it automatically adds punctuation and any type of emoji because without that, you could sound a little crazy. <laughs> then, believe it or not, you can also edit Siri to pronounce certain words differently. For example, if you're editing a specific contact, you can scroll all the way down to add field, and in here, you can add the pronunciation of the first name, middle name, or last name. And so, once you've done all that and saved, you can then go ahead and ask Siri how to pronounce your contact, and she will respond, It's Tim Cookie Good Lucky. She'll also use that name when announcing messages. So, customizing Siri is one thing, but as you may know, you can now customize the heck out of your iPhone and just get it to really suit your style. So it's super simple, all you do is tap and hold down on the lock screen, then click this little plus icon and now you can choose from so many different options to customize your home screen and lock screen. You literally get so many different customization options that I actually made an entire video dedicated to that, so definitely check that one out. But there are two other customization features that you've got to turn on, and the first one is found in battery settings, which is battery percentage. You definitely got to turn this one on. Then the second one for me is also a total must under sound and haptics. Scroll down to keyboard feedback and in here just toggle on haptics and now every time you use your keyboard it'll vibrate. I cannot live without this. It is just weird if a phone doesn't have this. You know what I mean? I just totally love keyboard haptics but I will admit I also love the new spotlight feature. 
That's right, the new Spotlight is found right over there, front and center. It is literally the fastest way you can search your entire phone and the internet straight from your home screen. What's so amazing is just how many results and information it gives you, from pictures it searched, web results, it's crazy. But if you don't like it on your home screen, you can still remove it under home screen settings, just toggle it off and like that, you're good to go. But now, let's search a little deeper into some really hidden quick tips. So for this quick tip, if you head into your Wi-Fi settings and select the Wi-Fi network you're on, then just tap on the password, it'll actually display it and then you can go ahead and copy and share it with your friends or other devices. Then check this out if anyone ever sends you a unit of measurement, like weight or temperature or even currency, you can just tap on it and it'll automatically convert it for you based on your region and location. That's mad. Then I love this new one, you can now have a startup sound, so in accessibility, under audio and visual, you can toggle on, power on and off sounds. And so now when you go to turn your phone off, it'll vibrate and play the sound. When you turn it on, it'll play the sound. So that is the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. These devices are honestly incredible. So if you've ever thought about it, now would be the time to definitely go pro. So remember, if you want to customize the heck out of your iPhone, then definitely check out this video. Or if you just want some more iPhone tips and tricks, check out this video. But I will see you guys in the next one. Toodles!